What's going on guys, Dodge Dragons back with another video of our mice breeding project or mouse breeding project. Either one is correct. Uh, this is a little brown female mouse we picked up about a week ago or so. My uh, female back here, she's very large, she is pregnant. The gestation period for a pregnant uh, female mouse is 21 days. I'm just now starting to see, I just now started noticing that uh, how big she is. I mean, it's just like a giant snowball sitting back there. But, uh, so like I said, uh, I'm just now seeing or noticing that uh, how big she is. So I'm really not quite sure um, when my male mouse tagged her or whatnot. Um, so I really don't know when she will have the babies, but she is very large. Um, just want to give you a quick view of the uh, tank. So I said it's got the water bottle here, their food dish down there, a couple of... Um, Toilet rolls, a bigger toilet, like a, a roll that I bought from the pet store. When well, I showed this, threw a couple toilet rolls in there. And it would have been a lot cheaper. But anyway, um, I bought some fluff, a bag of fluff to throw in there. Um, they are messy, you know, they are rodents. I just changed their tank yesterday, and you can see there's quite a bit of uh, mouse poop uh, already. Um, they don't smell too bad. Uh, the the male mouse actually does put off like an odor, like a musk, a musky smell. But uh, the place where I got him, it's pretty well ventilated, and you really can't notice unless you stick your like nose inside of this tank here. So it's not too bad. Um, I got him in as a ten gallon tank. I got this metal clip on the side that I, when I bought this tank from someone online, it came with one clip. This side, however, did not, so I just took this brick from the outside because uh, these guys are quite, uh, they can jump very well. They're quite uh, acrobatic. Um, I've noticed some um, climbing on the top of this upside down like Spider-Man, just like running around across the top of it. Um, I'm not too worried about them getting out. If they did get out, got loose in the house. Um, I have two two uh, cats, so uh, not too worried about them uh, getting out. Uh, like I said, I got two cats that would take care of them. Um, some of them even sleep on top of here, just waiting for the the mouse or mice to get out. Um, but yeah, as you see, I mean they're quite acrobatic. I mean I I found them like sitting on top of this water bottle here. There's really not much room from the top of it, but you see somehow they're jumping up there and they're climbing all the way back and forth on the screen. Um, so it's got that brick up there for extra precaution. Like I said, I don't want them getting out and I don't want my cats getting in. Um, I am breeding these for the bearded dragons. Um, if you ever bought frozen pinkies, that's what you call newborn mice. Um, frozen pinkies from the pet store you get like six of them for 12 almost 13 dollars that is from the pet store however but so I, and each one of these each mouse from petco there's like four dollars and some change so i really don't got much invest like i said i've had this tank for a while that i bought from someone online so <clears throat> it's actually gonna save me a lot of money in the long run especially i have uh five uh bearded dragons and you know, I buy the six mice from the pet store for, for like 12, almost 13 dollars. I mean, they can eat all those in like one sitting, especially like one or even two bearded dragons can eat that much in like one sitting, or at least in one day anyway. So, <clears throat> but here's my uh, pregnant female, is way back to like I said, she's very large. Um, hopefully, she'll be laying, uh, having the babies pretty soon. So, um, they have between 10 to 12 babies at a time. And I've been reading, uh, you know, you can, you can get pregnant right away. Um, some say it's good, some say you shouldn't do that because uh, health reasons for the babies, I guess. But I, I don't plan on keeping the babies to breed or nothing. I just plan on feed, feeding the babies right off. So. So that's why I went and got another one, and that way I can speed the process up, get more babies, and hopefully end up to the point where I got um, baby pinkies frozen, and that way I can feed my dragons whenever. Um, for the time being, I'll probably just feed off litter by litter once I have them. Uh, this is the male mouse here. I'm going to tell he's a male by... Um, 
the back of him. His uh, genitals uh, stick out pretty far. It looks like he's got like, a big butt. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I'll, I'll post it again once he's uh, running around. Um, they do say for the females to give them like a dog biscuit. Um, it really helps them with the females uh, when they're pregnant, when they have the babies. Um, right now I'm all out of the dog treats, but I did find out that, uh, man, they, they sure do love a Ritz cracker. I broke this up in like three or four pieces, and they're going crazy. Um, especially the, the pregnant female, she was like taking big chunks of it and like hiding it places. Go ahead and uh, drop a couple of these in here. Um, like I said, I gotta be careful when I do got this lid open because, uh, you know, like I said, they're pretty acrobatic. They could jump right out or get out pretty fast. So I just kind of break break a couple of these in half. Just you know, break them in half and set them throughout the cage. Um, said my pregnant female, she's seen that right away. Um, so she's probably going to come out. She's been hiding a lot lately, especially behind that on wheel. And she's breathing pretty heavily right now. So that would be nice if she laid the, laid the babies tonight or today. That'd be great. That'd be pretty sweet. I'd just feed off the babies right away. Um, this worries me right now because I just got the mail in the tank with her and I hate for her to eat the babies because she's scared of the mail or for the mail to eat the babies. I mean, that's just what they do. They're rodents. They do eat their young. So, But you can see how big she is. She just came out and grabbed the cracker. She didn't go right up inside there and eat that cracker in there. Thanks because she feels safe inside that um, wheel. You know, it's almost like a caged area and... Pretty sure she might have moved that wheel up against there because I had it turned the other way around. So, um, this brown female here, she's rather s small, but my uh, male, he's been trying to tag that anyway. All right, but as you can see, they, they just love these wrist crackers. Uh, the, the, the female's got one, and so does the male. But this is my uh, mouse breeding project or mice breeding project, hopefully. We have enough um, babies in the future um, just to have on hand. I don't plan on getting some crazy amount and like uh, selling the babies off. This is just for my own, uh, you know, my own supply. But uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any comments or questions or concerns, or if you've ever done this in the past, um, drop me a line in the comment section. Um, let me know do's and don'ts. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. Um, so I am new to this. I know I do need to get another. I'm pretty sure I do need to get another tank. Like I said, I, I mean, I got another tank, but I just need to get the screen lid. I just hate for him or her to eat the babies. And I'll show you. So that little thing sticking out the back of the male right there. Looks like a, like a big old butt. That's like his genitals, so that's how you can tell the difference. The female won't have that. Um, also, if you hold the female up by the tail and look at her stomach, all females have nipples, so it's another way to tell. But yeah, the um, male, he's, you know, he's like his butt sticking out really far. Um, that's his genitals. That's how you can tell the difference between a male and a female. But yeah, um... Check us out on Dodge Dragon's Facebook page, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, Dodge Dragons.